if you're a business owner and you want to scale and get to the next level, what do you think some common mistakes are that, that people make? I can think of a couple. Uh, yeah. One for me is focusing on anything other than the sales first, <laughs> because you're going to get into a bandwidth. If you invest and hope that people buy later with either your people, a product or technology, that can get you into a dangerous spot. If you oversell, sometimes that bandwidth can hurt you, but it doesn't usually kill your business like the sure. other investments are. Yeah. What do you think though? I'll let you chime in on that or any other common misconceptions that people have when they're trying to grow. Um, so there's three barriers that we see really hold people back. Number one is leadership succession. You grow the company eight to 12 people, you know everybody's name, you can touch them, talk to them, and you know what's happening day to day. You then start to get to about 20 to 25, and now leadership succession is important because you can't manage everybody, but you don't have the next level of leadership ready. So you end up drowning in this complexity and being burnt out, dealing with all the fires in your company, and that creates a problem. You get stuck. The other one is scalable infrastructure. As your company grows, more people, more clients, more locations, more services, you need to be able to have command and control with communication and decision making. And the more complexity that comes in, the harder it is to communicate and decision make correctly, and that creates drama. The third one is changing market dynamics. If you're not adjusting your strategy quick enough in appropriate timing for the market, then you will get commoditized and you will get beat and you will miss market opportunity. And a lot of small mid-market CEOs don't see it coming quick enough and it hurts their company or prevents them from growing to the next level. So those I love those buckets.